Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining us. We've saved the best for last. We have Lewis Wang with AWS. Please give him a warm welcome. Hi, uh, my name is Lewis. Um, I'm a product manager on AWS, focused on QuickSight. I've been with uh, AWS for a little over five years with a QuickSight team for three years. So today I'm going to be doing a quick demo of what you can do with QuickSight with your data. Uh, so just to quickly to, to set context, for those of you who are not familiar, QuickSight is a cloud-native BI service that we've built uh, with, for AWS that allows customers to be able to easily connect, visualize, analyze, share their data that's on AWS. Uh, taking a quick step back, this is sort of like a very high-level architecture of how QuickSight fits into the overall AWS data and analytics uh, portfolio of services. We have data to store, uh, ingest data into, into AWS, create data lakes. Um, we have various services to analyze, uh, process, query data, and then QuickSight sort of as our visualization and intelligence layer that allows customers to get more out of their data. We have been roughly in, uh, in the market for like a year. We're a relatively young product, but we have been very focused on delivering capabilities. So in the last year, we launched 46 features, roughly one feature per week, and we're very focused on uh, keeping on innovate on our customers' behalf. So with that, let's quickly get into a demo of QuickSight. So when I was preparing for this, when I was thinking like, what would be a really cool demo that we can show to our audience, right? So given that this is reInvent, and there's a lot of people tweeting about it, we thought, hey, you know, it would be great to show you guys how to build a social media dashboard, uh, leverage in QuickSight, and various others, AWS data analytics service, and then be able to visualize what your customers are uh, saying about your brand or company using QuickSight. So that's what we're going to do. Um, at a very, very high level, this is what the back end looks like. It, takes, uh, it makes Twitter API calls, uh, streams it with Firehose, puts it into S3, but we're also doing something special about it. We're using AWS Lambda, which is the serverless compute, and then calling Amazon Translate and also Amazon Comprehend, which are the two new services that we've launched at reInvent uh, at Andy's keynote to do machine learning translation, as well as entity extraction and sentiment analysis so that you can get more insight out of the tweets. With that, we are doing SQL on stream uh, and then piping that data back again into S3. So you see on the far right that we have sort of built a mini data lake of, uh, of your social media uh, reactions on, on S3. And then we're going to be using AWS Glue to catalog that data. So Glue will automatically crawl all of your files within S3. It will identify the tables, all the columns, and then do type inference on the columns to identify with their string, number, dates, and so on. And then we're going to use Athena to query that data. Now remember, these are just files in JSON formats living on S3. Athena will be able to query it on the fly without you, to be, without you having to do any ETL or put it in some kind of a relational store. And then finally, using QuickSight to visualize it. Now, if you're interested in building this from scratch, now we don't have a full hour here, but tomorrow there's a chalk talk. If you're still around at, one, at 10 AM uh, at ARIA, we actually have a solution architect that's going to walk you through building what I just showed you from scratch. It'll just take like an hour or so. It's going to be very easy, very quick. So with that, let me go into the demo. <clears throat> so for those of you who oh, actually need to switch, uh, give me one second. There we go. OK, so for those of you who are not familiar, uh, this is the QuickSight interface. Here you can access all of your dashboards, all of your analysis. I'm going to create one from scratch and show you how easy it is to do that. I'm going to create an analysis, a new data set. And then here, what I'm going to do is actually let me connect to an existing data set that I've already created. This is a data set that contains all the tweets that have been generated about AWS in the last several days. It contains the machine learning that we already did to process it, to do entity extraction, to do sentiment analysis, to do live translation. And I'm going to start by creating an analysis. 
So this is the main interface where you author visualizations and dashboard within QuickSight. Here on the right, you have the main canvas where the visualizations are going to be generated. On the left, you have all the columns that are available in the data set, and then on the bottom, the different visualization types. Creating a visualization in QuickSight is super easy. All you need to do is just click on a couple of fields, and then QuickSight will automatically generate the best visualization for you. For example, if I click on the timestamp date field, QuickSight will automatically create a time series visualization for me because that's the best way to j visualize data with dates. And this is effectively what it gives you. It, it gives you a number of tweets about AWS on any particular date. I can drag this around to look at the, uh, the tweets in the past. I can also make this more granular so I can look at, instead of aggregating the data by day, I can do it by hour. And then again, let me drag this around to sort of like show you this then. So what you're seeing right now is the number of tweets per hour that have been generated on the past several days. Each of these peaks represents something. For example, this is where reInvent started. This is Andy Jassy's keynote, Werner's keynote. She can easily see the spikes based on activities that your company has. Within QuickSight, then, you can create a dashboard view. So I can resize this visualization, make it smaller, and then say, hey, you know, this is uh, tweets by hour. Now, I can create another visualization. And let's do something more uh, visual. Let's create a, a map that actually tells me, you know, where are the tweets coming from. So I can drag the lat and long uh, coordinates into this field well, and then automatically I get a geospatial visualization that shows all the places where uh, the tweets are coming from. Again, I can resize this and then drag it around to build a dashboard layout. So I'm going to drag this side by side with the other one that I have. You can pan around. You can zoom in, zoom out. It's all very visually fluid. And then let me add a new one. This is what I love most about uh, what we've built so far. So um, I, talk, I talked about the sentiment analysis. With this dashboard, you can actually see you know, what people are talking about, whether their tweets are positive, negative, mixed. Right? So I can select the pie chart, and I can choose sentiment here. Let me drag the ID here, and then let me do a count uh, distinct to look at the distinct uh, tweets. And then this graph will show you that, hey, you know, there are a lot of tweets that are no neutral, probably because most tweets are retweets, right? Retweets of announcements. So to filter out the noise, all you need to do is click on that and then exclude. And now you really have more useful information. You have the positive, negative mix. And then if you want to recolor this, you can click on the slice and then change positive, for example, to green, negative to red, and then mix to, let's say, orange. Right, so now you have a pie chart that shows you, you know, how, um, how people are perceiving your brand or company. The other really cool stuff is, let's create a visualization now, and let's see what are the hot topics that people associate with your brand, right? So with Amazon Comprehend, it can do entity extraction to identify other companies, products, it can identify uh, celebrities, people, location uh, that people are tweeting about. So in this case, I can look at, uh, I can create a bar chart that shows the entities associated with tweets. So here I'm going to drag entity, and then I'm going to do by the number of counts. So count this thing. So now this graph, what you're seeing right now, gives you all the entities that are identified. Obviously, AWS is identified as an entity. It's the most popular one, but it's not necessarily the most interesting one. So we can go ahead and exclude that. And then you can exclude more, like, for example, OK, Amazon, sure, exclude. And then you can do that continually to identify, hey, you know, for example, um, Lambda has been super popular. S3 has been super popular around reInvent. Um, you can then filter. So let's say I want to know what has been the most interesting thing that has been talked about in the last two days. I can create a filter here. 
change the time range to relative date, let's say the last, instead of years, I can change that to days, and I can change it to like last three days, apply. So now you think things like, for example, Cloud9, which is our Cloud ID that was announced today. We have SageMaker, which is a managed machine learning. We have Neptune, which is our graph database, and so on and so forth, right? So then you can resize this again, put it side by side with the other visualization. And then I can drag this around to make it a little prettier. Right. Another cool thing that you can then do is, let me create another visualization. And here, let's look at Amazon Translate, which is our live translation service. Now, Twist can be in many different languages, right? So what I'm going to do, Amazon Translate starts with uh, supporting uh, Spanish. So I can create a filter here um, on the language column, expand that, and then choose, hey, let's look at only Spanish for now. Apply. And let's visualize it in text, right? Because you want to look at what the people are talking about. So I'm going to click uh, the tabular view and then click the actual tweets. So these are all the Spanish text, Spanish tweets that have been tweeted about AWS. So you can see a couple of things around. Um, well, if you don't know Spanish, you cannot read it, right? But then uh, we also did translation into English. So let me look at the translated text now. So that would be uh, translated text here. I'm going to select that column. And now you can see the original tweet and then the translated tweet side by side. Right? You can also do things like, for example, look at, hey, you know, are these tweets positive, negative? Uh, by adding the sentiment column here. So then you scroll to the right. You can say, hey, most of them are neutral. Remember that we added a filter on this visualization to filter out the neutral. Let's go back to the filter here. I can apply this filter to all the visualizations that are within this dashboard. So you have all visuals, some visuals, only this visual. So in this case, I'm going to choose all visuals. And notice now all visualizations are filtered. So now all visualizations are filtered. I can select whether I want to see only the negative, only the neutral, only the positive. So if I choose positive and I click Apply, it is going to show me only the positive tweets. Notice that it's only positive now. Again, if I scroll to the right, these are all the positive tweets. If you want to look at a negative, you can also do that, right? And once you've built this, then you can easily share this dashboard that you have built with others in your organization by clicking on Share, uh, Create Dashboard, and then you can name this, for example, uh, Twitter Dashboard, Create. And then choose who you want to share with within your company. So in this case, I can add a bunch of people I know in my company. And I click Send. They'll receive an email saying that, hey, you know, so-and-so shared this with you. And they'll be able to click on the link, log in, and see the dashboard that you have built. Uh, so that is basically my uh, fast and easy demo. So a real cool output of that would be something like, uh, like this, right? So this is a more polished version of what I just built. But effectively the same thing. Uh, any questions? Yeah? No, this is Amazon QuickSight. Oh, OK. Yeah. So Amazon QuickSight is AWS. Uh, visualization and analytic solution. Is it possible to create uh, like a self-service analytics where you can give users basically a set of um, you know, dimensions or a set of uh, entities that they can click and drag rather than pre-created dashboard? Yeah, ac actually, uh, QuickSight very, makes it very easy for you to be able to leverage our entire platform to build data sets, right? And then make those curated data sets available for your business user to create their own analysis, their own dashboard. So the way you would do that is uh, from the data set page. So in this particular case, I have this sample account. They have a bunch of data sets. So each of these tiles you see here is a data set, right? 
uh, that is either connected to Redshift, Athena, it may be a flat file that you uploaded. And then what you can do is share this data set by clicking on it and then click share. And then from there on, you can add users or groups that you want to share with. They will have access to the data set, and then they'll be able to author it themselves. Any other questions? All right, so, so that was a quick demo. But uh, again, if you want to learn more, always feel free. Tomorrow, again, we have a 10 AM session at the area that actually shows you how to build the backend architecture from scratch. So it is really, really uh, quick and easy. You can actually set up the whole thing in probably less than an hour, and you'll have an up and running social media dashboard about your company that you can share with others. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lewis, and thank you so much for joining us. We hope to see you next year at uh, 2018 event.